All right, so now we're going to take a look at how we apply these transformation operations. Um, so here I have a, f a graph of f of x, and I need to graph the, transfer the transformation of f of x, one half f of x plus three. Okay, now I tend not to try to translate directly from graph to graph because I always get confused with the grid points. So what I recommend and what I would like you to do is make a table of the values of the key points in f of x. All right, so like in other words, that point, that point, that point, that point, and that point are really the sort of the, the key ones we need in order to make the picture. So just jot down those coordinates with me. Okay, and over here we'll have our table for our transformed function. All right, and I think the best way to do it is just go up in a, and take note of what each piece does. So that one half, if you remember, is outside the f of x. That's going to affect our y values. And what does it do to the y values? Well going to have multiply y values by one half. Okay, and then this x plus 3, and this plus 3 rather, next to the x, again, it's a common mistake to say that you're going to add 3 to the x values, but remember, as you saw in the last video, this shifts the graph to the left 3. Okay? that plus three means we have to plug in three less than what we used to in order to get the same outputs. So that means you're going to subtract three from our x values. Okay, so let's do the first one. Let's multiply the y values by one half. And, and again, they're two different columns. It doesn't really matter whether you do the x values first and then the y values, it doesn't matter, you take them separately. So, uh, for instance, I'll take, I'll take my y values over here and I'm going to just make a note. Oops. Make a note to multiply multiply my y values by one half. Okay, so now my y values just get cut in half. So I got negative three, negative one, negative one, two, negative four, and then I got my x values, and I'm going to subtract three from the x values. Once we do this, we just plot the points, and our picture will emerge. So uh, negative 3, or negative 14 minus 3 is negative 17, and then I got negative 9, and I got uh, 1, 5, and uh, 12. And now we're going to just plot these points. So negative 17, negative 3 is down here. A little off the graph, but that's okay. Negative 9, negative 1 would be here. 1, negative 1, here. And 5, 2 is here. And 12, negative 4 is here. And then you just connect the points. So I'm going to use my, you don't have this option, but you're just going to connect the points. So I'm just going to use this guy here and make it look clear. There you go. There's my transformed graph. Well, you, one thing to notice is that that one half 
multiply my y values by a half, so that had the, the effect of compressing the graph verti uh, vertically by a factor of one half, and uh, the x values got shifted to the left three. All right, that was good. Let's do one more. Okay, let's do this one, f of x and negative one half f of two x. So same business, oops, same business. We're just gonna copy down the table of points. All right, so I got negative 14, negative six, negative six, negative two. And then 8, 4, and then 15, and then 8. Okay, and I'm going to go up and take note of what each of these pieces does. That negative is outside the f of x, so I'm going to take uh, opposite of my y values, in other words, multiply y values. By negative 1. And then I've got this 2x, and again, counterintuitive, but that means I'm going to multiply x values not by 2, by one half. And then lastly, I'm going to uh, add one to my y values. It's outside the f of x, outside the parentheses. So I'm going to add one to my y values. Now one thing I want you to pay attention to is we've got two things acting on the y values. We've got this multiply by negative one and we have this add one. So when we do the table down here and we transform the table, which one do you do first? You always follow PEMDAS, okay? You always follow PEMDAS. And in PEMDAS, you'll notice that uh, multiply comes before, you know, multiply and divide comes before addition and subtraction. Okay, so for the y values, the first thing we're going to do, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to multiply by negative 1. Then, we're going to add one. So negative six times negative one gives you six plus one is seven. Uh, negative two times negative one is two plus one is three. Same with the next entry. Four times negative one is negative four plus one is uh, negative three. And then uh, negative eight times negative one is eight plus one is nine. And then I've got my My x values, I'm going to multiply simply by one half. So that shouldn't be so bad. So um, that negative 14 becomes negative 7. Negative 6 becomes negative 3. The 4 becomes 2. The 8 becomes a 4. And the 15 becomes 7.5. So we'll plot these points and look at the picture. Negative 7, 7. Negative 3, 3, 2, 3, 4, negative 3, 7.5, right here, 9. Okay, and then we connect our points. You connect them in the order that they come on the table. Not surprisingly. There we go. There's our graph. Notice it's flipped upside down. You know, it's you have this sort of flipped sense of it when you compare it to the first, uh, the graph over here, and that again is a result of this negative in front of our y values, flipping our y values. Um, it's uh, compressed horizontally because of that 2 for the x values. Remember, that means multiply your, your x values by a half. You only have to plug in half of what you used to have to plug in. And then this plus 1 ends up uh, shifting the graph up. 
Okay, so uh, hopefully you got all that down and uh, you should be able to apply transformations uh, in the future.